Hi this is Bird from Birds SVGs and in this video I'll be showing you how I put my bunny masks together um, and this is from the Easter Egg Hunt SVG collection. Okay so um, first of all we're going to start by putting some of the elements together that will go on the front of the mask. So I'm starting with these eye and cheek pieces. So um, you just need to add a little bit of glue, you don't need much at all. Um, to these outline pieces that go around the edge of the eye. <laughs> I made a right mess there. But anyway, I'm just going to spread the glue out. You don't need a lot, <laughs> unlike what I've just done. So you're going to carry that on with the other one and you're going to line each eye. And then we're going to move on to the whiskers. Now if you have a look on each of these um, kind of eye and cheek pieces, there are three little um, semicircles, and those are the pieces that I'm just adding a dab of glue on each of them there. So you might see where they are um, a bit more clearly now the glue's there. And what that's going to do, that's, that's going to give you your positioning for placing your whiskers. So there's three on each side. So all you need is one tiny dab of glue because you just want the very end to catch. Because then when we shape the mask, the whiskers will stick out slightly. Okay, now I'm moving on to my ears. And we're adding some glue to the back of the tab and we're actually going to be placing the tab on the front of the ear. And now this seems very strange when you do it because normally we're hiding tabs around the back of everything. Um, but here the tab is actually in the front because we've got a little liner piece that's going to cover that up. So the ear will look nice and, t nice and neat and tidy um, from the front and the back because it will be visible, you know, while, while it's being worn. Okay, so we're adding some glue to the back of the tab and then we're gluing the tab on the front of the ear. Now doing that, that gives the ear the little bit of curve that it has. So with these liner pieces, I'm just encouraging it in my hand, just running my thumb over it and giving it a slight curve um, so it's easier to take shape when I glue it down. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the back of these liner pieces. And then this lines up with the score line which you'll see on each ear. So there are tabs at the bottom of the ear pieces that go inside the mask and this liner piece just wants to butt up against where those bottom tabs start. It'll be very clear when, when you're putting it together where it goes. So we're getting all of our, our um, smaller pieces assembled and then when we pop it together it'll take no time at all. Okay, now the next piece, we've let the uh, whiskers dry uh, for a moment. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pop some glue onto the back of these eye and cheek pieces. And we're going to pop it onto the mask. And we want to do this before we actually assemble the mask or, um, you know, get the mask to take any, take shape. Because we want that to, to, you know, to have plenty of time to dry and, and take hold. Because when we glue the tabs on the mask, it will actually curve a bit. So it would be quite tricky to glue those pieces on afterwards. So we're going to do that now. I must apologise for my voice. I've got the dreaded lurgy at the moment. Okay, now I've sized these masks to... Um, I actually sized them on an eight-year-old. Um, but they do actually fit on me too. So, um, and then I've also had a smaller child try them on. They're a little bit, um, there's a little bit of room around the head, you know, the forehead area on, a, on small, very small children. On slightly older children, they fit, fit perfectly. And on an adult, it's slightly small. Um, but actually, I've tried to size it so anyone could wear these if they really want to be a bunny. Okay, so you've got these strengthening tabs. I'm just going to pop some glue on the back of those. 
and just hold it in place just for a moment. These just add a little bit of strength or extra um, strength for where we'll be adding our um, string of elastic. Okay, so now we're going to, if you have a look on your mask, you've got some score lines there. Now you don't want to be folding along them. They're just indicators for where to add your glue and how far across to bend and um, fold over your mask. So they're more um, just indication marks to show um, how, you know, your crossover area. So just butt up against um, those little score lines. And then you've got two on the sides. Just holding those just for a moment until they take hold. So once you've got your embellishment pieces in place, to actually form the mask takes no time at all. So if you're having a party and you've got loads of children coming, you know, these, these won't take you um, a long time to, to assemble, but I think they, they'd have great impact. Okay, we're now going to pop the ears into place. You've got um, kind of a little V shape, so that will help encourage your, um, to keep that curve on, on your um, ears. So you just slide your two little tabs in, and then... This is tricky. I was trying to get it on camera, but it was a little bit difficult to do that. But all you need to do is add some glue um, on the underside of the tab. And you want the tab to be facing forward, so towards the eyes. There, I think you can just see there. I've got the tabs facing forward. So you just want a little bit of glue on the underside. So in this case, I've added glue to the pink side of my paper where my tabs get bent forward. So again, I'm bending the tabs, I'm sliding them into that little V-shaped um, notch in my mask. I'm adding some glue underneath the tabs and the tabs go forwards towards the eyes. And once you have your ears in place, your mask is complete. And then all you need to do is add a little bit of elastic I um, actually purchased mine from eBay. I had a look on there and there, I found some coloured elastic that are used for babies' headbands in 10mm uh, and 15mm. I went for the 10mm uh, versions and those are the ones that you see in the photographs. Feel free to share any pictures of any of you little tackers wearing your bunny masks on my Facebook page. I'd love to see them.